Hi there, Tracy Kodoski, www.healthylifestylesmt.com and I am here today to talk about, in my workout clothes no less, um, high intensity interval training. Uh, so let's first talk about what that is, we're going to talk about the benefits of it, um, how you can do it right in your own home, and what my personal pre and post protocol is. Okay, ready? Alright, so high intensity interval training. It's periods of uh, intense exercise, whether that's on a treadmill, an elliptical, whether you're doing weights, and then with a rest period or recovery period. So for example, what I have been doing since late December 2014 is uh, two minutes of warm-up, and then at the two minute mark I sprint, or I have a tread climb or something, where I'm, but I'm doing a burst of activity for 30 seconds, and then I recover from two and a half minutes until four minutes. So it's a two minute cycle of 30 seconds burst, 90 seconds recovery, and if you're giving it everything you have, which you should be in that burst, it takes you that 90 seconds to, you know, there's definitely no speaking, no conversation, um, that's your recovery period. And so then at four minutes you're going to do the same thing, you're going to burst for 30 seconds, recover for 90, and you're going to do that again at six minutes, at eight minutes, at ten minutes, I think you get the idea. And at minute 18, that's your last burst and then a 90 second recovery. The benefits of this are that it reduces insulin resistance, lots of research on that, um, increases testosterone, which we all need, men and women, but that helps us maintain our muscle mass in particular, increases growth hormone, and of course it's short. And the reason in my simple brain that it does all this is because you create massive oxygen debt. When you're giving it everything you have, you can barely speak and you're actually watching that clock, looking for that 30 second mark that, am I done yet? Because I don't have five more steps in me. So you create massive oxygen debt and then over that 90 seconds you're recovering, but really what it's like is that you're working out through the rest of the day. And by increasing growth hormone and testosterone, and decreasing insulin resistance, you're burning fat longer. This is not the kind of exercise you want to do every day. You actually need to recover on that day off. So three days a week, and if you start this and you're really not in great shape, or you have adrenal fatigue, or some sort of health problem, you may only be able to do this once every three or four days. I was only able to do it once every three days when I first started. Definitely getting tougher. I'm doing hills now. I'm using my tread climber. Um, I've been able to increase um, how fast I run, so I'm definitely switching it up. On those off days, you just want to think about doing some core strengthening, so the plank, um, maybe some upper arm, upper body kind of things, but you want to do some of that kind of stuff on your off day. And then let's just talk about my protocol. I'm happy to share what I do. Um, I've done some research. I bet that there's even more that I'll learn as time goes on. But before my workout, I'm doing um, some electrolyte replacement. Um, I personally use either E-Lite or Sport Light. Um, there's electrolytes without sugar. I mix that in water. I put in two teaspoons of branch chain amino acids, which are our essential um, amino acids. We can't make them. We need to get them from food. They, there's lots of research that shows they help us uh, build and maintain our muscle mass. So as we get older, that becomes, of course, important. So electrolytes, two teaspoons of branch chain amino acids mixed in water. And then I, I've added some liquid phosphatidylcholine, um, not the powdered stuff. I think those are completely different. That's another story. Um, but I use a little bit of the liquid phosphatidylcholine. I find that it helps the branch chain amino acids mix up much better. I also put in turmeric, um, so it turns yellow like this here, um, but that way I'm making my own liposomal uh, turmeric because I've got the phosphatidylcholine in there, and sometimes I put in some glutathione, particularly in, that, in the post-workout drink. Um, I do that same drink pre and post-workout, so electrolytes, branch chain amino acids, sometimes turmeric, phosphatidylcholine. Um, I like it better cold. I think it's easier to drink, and it doesn't taste great. I'll be completely honest. I mean, you can get it down, but branched chain amino acids don't taste that great. So, so that's my pre and my post, and I think that's it for today, but I'll see you again next time, and be sure to check out all the recipes I have. Um, over 100 recipes on my website. Again, that's www.healthylifestylesmt.com. Um, they're in categories, so you can find breakfast, lunch, dinners. Um, I have a category for SCD if you're on the specific carbohydrate diet. Um, lots of written articles and more video blogs for you. So lots of great information, and I'll see you again next time. This is Tracy Kanoski signing out.